scrapping a home DVD player. This is just your run of the mill uh, home DVD player made by Sanyo. So we're gonna take it apart and show you what's inside. Of course, uh, first thing we need to do, safety first. And uh, I already have eye protection on. You're gonna have a series of screws around the DVD. Have one there, one there, one on each corner, one on the top. And I've taken some of those out already to save a little bit of time. Uh, because as I do these videos, I've been learning uh, that I run my mouth too much and wind up with a video too big. So you can just, uh, once you get those screws out, just pull this top off. And that'll go in your steel shred. And the same thing with home DVD players, just like a DVD player that comes out of your car. Uh, most of the time when people find out they don't work is because they've uh, got a CD in them and obviously they stopped working. So we're gonna, another series of screws. And uh, the most valuable part in these is the e-waste board. those screws out. I don't see any other one that are probably going to be all over. Yep, a couple screws in the back here. I'll have to take those out. But instead of putting everything in, in uh, steel scrap or just cutting the cord off of something, and, uh, since I've found a good online e-scrap dealer, it's really worth your time if you're going to scrap to go ahead and take everything down to the best you can get out of it. Sometimes you can just pry this over a little bit to give access to that board to pop out. A little bit of right there. There we go. Sometimes you have little metal clips bend in to hold the board in place. They're not actually screws, just little metal clips. Sometimes you have to get those bent out of the way. On there. Then you can just take your uh, wire clippers. Uh, clip these wires here on these clips that hold them in. I'll be able to just pull those ribbons loose. Set that aside. And that is a good board. So you've got a, a processor there. Uh, like I've mentioned in other videos, the more stuff you've got going on your on your board, uh, the more valuable it's going to be. And that's a, a green on green board. Uh, that should uh, be a number one grade board there. So we'll set it aside. And uh, another board here. A couple of screws. We won't waste a whole lot of time with uh, showing this board. And this board is a brown board on this side. Hopefully, we can get it out real quick without wasting a lot of time. I want you to be able to see the back side of this board. And we'll, we'll go over these boards a little bit more as we. Uh, I'm going to have another video on grading boards. And so you'll know kind of what you've got. See, this board is brown on one side and green on the other. So it, it, typically, if you see a board that's brown and brown, that's going to be a low-grade board, if, if anything, and that's going to be somewhere between 2 or 3 cents a pound up to maybe 5 cents a pound. 
Now this is green on one side and brown on the other side. It does have a some copper uh, uh, windings in it, uh, so you d you don't really want to contact uh, whoever buys your boards and see what that would uh, what that would go for. My the place that I sell to, uh, that's a low grade board. It's a little bit more than uh, five cents a, a pound, but uh, it, it's it's a low grade board. So we'll set that aside. And the other pieces, this is the LCD screen that was on the, the, the front of that board that we usually just cut off or clip off. You just put that with your shred because it's not going to be worth anything either. And uh, these typical clips here, uh, you'll see these in a lot of electronics that hold the, the power wire in. You can just compress that power that clip power wire will slip right out the back well, or you can just clip it right off. Murphy's Law I guess took a thousand of them to get off and that won't come off. Uh, you can either put that wire in your insulated scrap or do like I do is cut that wire down trim it down so you can get the most out of it. So we'll set that up to the side too. And again like I've said before uh, on, on the uh, car CD player. Sometimes you can wind up with a CD in here because people will leave them in the player because that's usually how they find out that their CD player doesn't work anymore. Is uh, They've uh, tried to use it and it uh, well, it didn't work. Try to get this out. And some of these things I know some people sell on eBay, some computer parts, and that kind of thing. To be honest with you, I'm not real sure that there's any value uh, to a part like this. You can tell there's some rust here. Uh, that's probably been sitting out in the rain. Uh, and this again goes in steel shred. So when you take these these boards apart, or the CD player apart, there's a little board here. You want to make sure you you keep it. This board here, just a couple of screws there. You can either, uh, uh, that screwdriver's too big, take those screws out, and that board should come off the back of there pretty easy. Sometimes they'll be soldered to that insulated motor that's in there. Some of the cheaper ones will be that way. Uh, yeah, it pops right off. And that again is going to be a brown on green, so it really depends on who you sell that to whether that's going to have any, any value or not. Uh, inside here is, is your reader. Some of these gold eye readers are going to have, uh, well, gold in them. For, uh, they're not a lot, but you want to make sure you take that out and have that ready to go to your e-scrap buyer. A lot of this plastic you set aside. I mentioned before some e-scrap buyers will buy these ribbon in bulk. And when I mean bulk, you've got to have a whole lot of them. It takes a whole lot to, to get anything really worthwhile out of those. <clears throat> One little screw here. And then we're going to pop this board out. Clip some wires. And again, this is a green on brown. Put it over here. But we're going to try to get in here to this reader, CD reader. Like I said, it, that'll be the last thing that has uh, any uh, value to it, any any metal value. It's going to have a little bit of gold in it, a little bit of copper on the ribbon. Uh, but what you're interested in is getting the gold value out of it. So you get a couple screws loose from there. clippers. Clip that. And that'll take that eye right out of there. 
you want to keep that over with your stock. Like I say, there is a CD in there. You want to take the time to, to pop a couple more screws out of there, and we'll see. Open range, disc one. So, I mean, sometimes you can find a disc in there that, uh, you know, it's worth a couple of bucks to you. It's worth a couple of bucks. And you're going to have an insulated motor there and another insulated motor there. The rest of this you can just put in with your, with your sheet scrap. But this is what you're you want to try to get out of it. That's probably half a pound there. Good board. Uh, the people I sell this to, it averages somewhere, sometimes two to two sixty a pound on a, on a board this way. This brown and, and uh, green board. Uh, I'd just say you're going to get five cents a pound, something like that, uh, for those. And then you have some insulated copper or number one copper depends on how you want to look at it. if you want to shred that take your uh, plastic or rubber coating off of that and then basically you're going to have about the same amount in shred weight that you did before minus maybe a pound or two so it really is you know answering the same question you see all the time on youtube is it worth uh, scrapping it's really up to you so that's taking a home cd player apart and uh, thanks for watching and uh, Happy scrapping.